This is the start line, not just for the weekend, but for the whole season. Hello and welcome to the 2015 FIA World Rallycross Championship, which starts 1800 metres up a mountain in Portugal at the fantastic Montalegre Rallycross Circuit. We've got eight permanent teams this year and six different car manufacturers, and they're all chasing this man, Peter Solberg, with the number one on his car, the first ever World Rallycross Champion, and of course, World Rally Champion back in 2003. And for this season, new team name, SDRX, Solberg Doran RX. He's teamed up with Liam Doran, who isn't here yet. They're still testing the car down at the Sada. The runner-up in the championship last year was Toppy Hakenen. His teammate though for this year has changed. So alongside him now is PG Anderson. PG is a double junior world rally champion, so he really knows how to pedal. Markland Motorsport, of course, Jan runs the team and Tom was driving here last year, but he's flown the family nest and he's gone next door to EKS. Now the reason Anton Markland left the family team is he wanted a bit more pressure and he'll get that here. This is Matthias Ekstrom's team. He only did a couple of events last year and he won one of those. He's a two times DTM champion. He's doing most of the championship this year. He's got to skip the next event at Hockenheim for his DTM commitments. Over here though, look at that. Absolutely massive XF1 setup for Ford Olsberg's MSE. It's a real game changer for the paddock. And you might have noticed the rain. We had snow here two years ago. We got sunburnt last year. Now it's pouring down, but we're still gonna have fun. So Tim and Andreas, you'll notice are in here. Rainis is in here as well. There are now three cars at Ford OMSC. Tim and Tim as Yarnov has left the Peugeot Hansen squad and is here. His car is in the middle. On the right hand side is backwards. He took two wins last year. And on the left is Rainis Nittish, who came third in the Drivers' Championship. So a real force to be reckoned with and a mega setup in here. Replacing Tim Timosyanov at Peugeot Hansen is Davy Genet. Now, Genet was the runner-up in the 2013 European Rallycross Championship, so he really knows how to pedal a car, and so does this man, Timmy Hansen. He remains with the team, and of course, he won that event in Italy last year. The cars this year have been built by Peugeot Sports, so looking forward to seeing how fast they're gonna be. Over here in the paddock, we've got another two VW Polos at VW Team Sweden. We've got Munich Motorsport running a pair of Audis. At the far end, we've got Team Austria running a pair of Ford Fiestas. And don't count out Robin Larson. He's doing the whole championship this year. He won the European Championship last year. They've all done their homework. They all say their cars are faster, but who's going to be the fastest? Well, that's a good question, Andrew. Let's ask the people who count. Gentlemen, who is going to be quickest this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> so Renis thinks it's going to be Tim, no, huh? No, what about no, you, Andreas? No. Uh, I, I mean, quick is one thing, consistent is another word we, we use here in the RX. You know, uh, we need to be consistent to be in the top of the championship when the season ends. And, and the, and the quick at the, the same time. You know, quick and consistent is the, the best combination. So you guys forget to ask me about <laughs> this. But we decided that it's better to be the, not the quickest, to be first. And this is the main goal for the team for this race. Okay. And how is it going to be having you three serious contenders under one roof? I mean, it's all very friendly now, but it's, it's going to be interesting. For sure, you know, uh, we, we, all three have different persona, uh, personalities, and uh, but I think we work really well together as a group and as a motorsport family. We we love what we are doing, and uh, we have a good laugh. Uh, uh, we celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> we celebrate together when it, when it's going well, and we. I don't think we will cry together when it goes bad, but uh, for sure we yeah. have our moments. And now we are three of Super 1600 Championship winners under one roof, and you know, I think it, it will work. This is the main thing what we have. We Let's have a really good team manager mm -hmm. who bring us here and create us, uh, us like a drivers. Mm -hmm. and now we trust him and believe for this team, and we continue to fight for the championship. Fantastic. So uh, everyone here in the paddocks can have to try and follow you. How do the people at home follow each of you during the course of the weekend and the season? Everybody. Twitter, has... Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. The races will be live streamed, all of the races live on TV. And of course, if you want to get in touch, it's hashtag WorldRx. See you. <laughs>